In today's discussion, we'll delve into the significant changes happening in the financial landscape, particularly regarding shorts, collateral, and the dynamics surrounding an MC, all amidst a backdrop of evolving regulations and market behaviors. Hey, welcome to a MC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. Let's start by dissecting the recent development concerning collateral values. As of now, the game-changing decision is the DTCC announcement to strip crypto assets of their collateral status, marking a pivotal shift for investment firms relying on crypto, particularly in the realm of shorting AMC. This alteration is twofold. Firstly, EFs and similar vehicles incorporating cryptocurrencies will no longer receive collateral valuation. Secondly, there's a revision in collateral valuation for corporate notes or bonds, with a notable increase in haircut value, indicating a tightening grip on collateral availability. This maneuver serves as a stark warning, signaling a cautious stance from the market, hesitant to extend financial leverage as freely as before. The underlying implication is clear. Uncertainty looms, and the once perceived safety nets of collateral are retracting. Now, let's delve deeper into why disallowing firms from using crypto as collateral holds paramount importance. The involvement of Wall Street giants like Verdu Financial in the crypto sector underscores the interplay between traditional finance and the burgeoning crypto domain. Previously, crypto served as a means for short sellers to secure shares for MC forging an intricate relationship between crypto values and AMC fate. However, with crypto collateral now rendered null, the repercussions are dire, especially for entities like Verdu Financial deeply entrenched in blockchain and crypto ventures. Shifting gears, let's focus on the financial health of AMC, as disclosed by Adam Aaron. The recent preview of a MCQ1 2024 earnings paints a promising picture outperforming analysts' expectations despite prevailing challenges such as box office fluctuations and ongoing strikes. This positive trajectory, evidenced by increased revenues compared to the previous year, starkly contrasts with the struggles faced by short sellers, whose diminishing revenues and profit margins signal mounting pressure. Furthermore, the prospect of a MC issuing dividends emerges as a potential game-changer. However, a significant roadblock looms in the form of the 2029 debt note, imposing restrictions on dividend payments. This limitation underscores the intricacies of a MC financial landscape as it navigates the path towards dividend issuance amidst mounting debt obligations. The implications are profound. If a MC were to realize its true value, unhampered by market manipulation, it could unlock substantial capital thereby alleviating debt burdens and potentially triggering a paradigm shift in market dynamics. Yet, shorts persist in their efforts to suppress a MC price, thwarting its ability to raise capital and impede its growth trajectory. However, amidst these challenges, a silver lining emerges. The delay in dividend reinstatement, prompted by debt repayment considerations, reflects a strategic move aimed at fortifying a MC position during its ongoing recovery phase. This long-term perspective underscores AMC resilience and determination to emerge stronger, despite short-term adversities orchestrated by market manipulators. Reflecting on past events, such as the APE issuance, sheds light on the multifaceted strategies employed by retail investors to counter short-selling tactics. Despite encountering obstacles like SEC lockouts and FTDS, the underlying goal remains clear, to expose synthetic shares and disrupt shorts' grip on the market. In essence, the unfolding saga surrounding AMC encapsulates a battle of ideologies. On one side, shorts seeking to maintain control through manipulation, and on the other, retail investors advocating for transparency and fair market practices. As the narrative unfolds, one thing remains certain. The winds of change are blowing, and AMC stands as a beacon of resilience amidst turbulent financial waters. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.